Hey, welcome back to Figure Depot. Today we're going to take a special look at an item that is in the Mattel wrestling figure line, but it's not actually a wrestling figure. So let's check it out. All right, we have the collectible title WWE Championship belt for adult collectors. This fits up to a 46 inch waist and it is monstrous. That's 117 centimeters. For those of you in the UK or wherever you don't use inches, uh, this is actually made by Jack Specific. Uh, it runs parallel, of course, with the wrestling figure line and all the wrestling merchandise that Mattel puts out. And it's very, very cool. So we're gonna take a look at the back of the box real quick. All right, and on the back of the box, we can see different wrestlers featured in the uh, WWE in their different years that they won this particular title. So. You can pause that and read those if you like. I'm not going to sit here and read them all to you. Alright, so here it is out of the package. Looking awesome. This thing is massive. It's so much bigger than I thought it was going to be. I mean, it looks big in the box, but when you get it out and actually put it on, it just feels huge. Uh, my kids, I bought them the little, you know, standard size ones. So, here's what a standard one that you'll normally see on the shelf looks like and you can see it's just swallowed and uh, it's made out of like a cheap kind of vinyl coated canvas and then you get your little plastic parts here and then you've got a velcro enclosure on the back and you can out of the box you glue this piece onto it you know wherever you want it based on how small or large your kid is so that it'll fit them properly this is my daughter's. My son's got the black version, which is colored just like this one in this same size. So, but um, looking at this, uh, it's very, very uh, different quality than the other one. And uh, I'll give you kind of a 360 view real quick. And one thing I noticed about the material, this smells like leather. Now, it's real thick and sturdy, like a hard piece of cowhide. I think this is actually leather. These, of course, are plastic, just like the standard issue ones for the kids to play with. But, you know, and you know, so this stuff is plastic too. But the detail is a lot better, for lack of a better word. And the actual belt itself, I thought it was going to be rubber, but I'm pretty sure that this is actually leather. Not maybe like a bonded leather and not a solid piece of cowhide. But, you know, unless they've just put some cowhide fragrance into a big, thick chunk of rubber, but it just it feels like leather. I think it's actually leather. So I was very surprised by that. So that's what it looks like on. All right, so looking a little closer, you can see it does actually have snaps like an official belt and you can see the stitching around here all these panels are stitched on um, you can see where they've put kind of some plastic rivets to pop the piece on there but you see the leather grain here and you see this uh, stitched portion here with the uh, WWE logo there and the jack specific license so um, and you can see the snaps here. So this is actually sewn in, which is another thing that makes me think that this is actually leather. Something I was very surprised and impressed by for a toy, you know. If you get an actual metal belt like this, and they do have the, you know, metal ones, and you can, you know, it's, they've got actual, you know, this gold plated on here, and these are, you know, little diamonds or whatever they are. These are little plastic diamonds inlaid here, little costume jewelry, but they look really, really nice. All the logos are nice and sharp, and everything just looks really good. And I still can't get over how massive this is. Um, you can see the little stamps ingrained here in the leather, the stitching around the bottom. I mean, this is actually leather. I'm like 99.9% .9 sure. So, very, very cool. Um, your little 
uh, kids ones run you about, um, you know, 15 bucks, maybe 20. This was a hundred at retail when it released. And, uh, so, but if you get a, an actual authentic one from a retailer online, you're going to pay probably a solid, you know, 300 bucks. So if you can't spend that <laughs> on a belt, this was definitely a fantastic alternative from Jack Pacific. Thank you so much for watching today. I hope you enjoyed this review. I recommend this thing 10 out of 10. It's very well made, even though these parts are plastic, having the leather there, it's so sturdy, and it's just really, really awesome. It will look great as a display piece. If you can't afford a three, $400 official belt, this is definitely a suitable alternative at a much cheaper price. Anyway, I uh, will see you guys next time. Be sure and check out my Instagram later if you'd like to look at some action figure photography. And I'll have other review content and other things available up there as well. So I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching.